to you it is great to have you along for this much anticipated game and of course we want to get through it as promptly as possibly we can because as you can see for yourself there have been major weather issues today the officials have made absolutely sure that it is safe it's okay to go ahead nothing has been left to chance in terms of preparations those have been meticulous and understandably when you take into account these most testing of conditions all of the efforts to ensure this game is played under normal conditions have been carried out and we hope for a proper game which reaches its conclusion. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Got things on the way. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It will be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. a good finish, the odds were against him, little matter. Kuyate really showed good strength there, held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away, maintained control. Crystal Palace have an early lead, good start. Jacob Murphy... Up towards the front line. Kuyate. Willock. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Crystal Palace have it back and they can go again. And here's Ayu. Too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Jacob Murphy. Crystal Palace scored early, of course, and the score is 1 0. Just brushed off the ball there. The referee's awarded a free kick. Zaha MacArthur there he goes motoring forward gets into a dangerous position going through great strength too strong for his opponent now the counter MacArthur making use of the space out wide gets the better of his man well read, he sorted that out. He can get that clear. Oh, 
John Joe Shelby did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Forward it goes. Kelly cuts it out. And it's Ayu. And here's Benteke. MacArthur. And the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Crystal Palace know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Tompkins. <laughs> we hit half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now can they protect it? Crystal Palace leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1 0 at the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Zaha, redeveloped. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And it's played forward. Benteke. Now it's Sahar. Now it's Ayu. And he's cut it out. Has a pop! And with that goal comes comfort. Benteke versus the keeper. And only one winner. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a hoop links pro situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Crystal Palace have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Has a hit! It's off target and by quite a way. It was more possible than probable and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Saha. Benteke. Crunching tackle. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Tompkins does well there. Alert. And it's Riedervelt. Riedervelt plays it out to the flank. Benteke. Almiron. Almiron goes looking. Crystal Palace get it back again. Benteke. Benteke plays it forward. And he's there to hoof it away. Zaha. Benteke. Oh. 
He's got it. It's one. Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Newcastle have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Crystal Palace take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Jacob Murphy... Time added on, four minutes. Tompkins gets it back. Redeveloped. And it's Ayu. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. You look back on the game then, Jim. I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of the match. Eh?